we'll touch base probably we are at the defense today and I'll, I'll speak more specifically about the defense industry specifically where we are today challenged with many new threats and everybody speaking about the future of defense the future of warfare the military superiority uh, the role the army of none the role where you have more uh, basically unmanned uh, in comparison to the number of human uh, at uh, the battlefields uh, i believe when we look at the ai specifically artificial intelligence and you look at the use cases of it on on it has commercial uses and it has as well uh, its defense uses and for ai to thrive there are three main important component uh, I'll, I'll come back to, to to the linkage to the ecosystem and the collaboration uh, ai basically require a computational power so you can think about it as the muscle then you need to think about uh, the algorithm either the eye the computer vision the voice or the talk i i, I refer it as natural natural language processing or basically the deep learning the thinking part which is i i i represent it as the brain so you have the muscles and the brain but the muscles and the brain in a human body doesn't perform well without the food which is the data so you require to have access to these three components to thrive and when you look at today words uh, the amount of computational power that we are talking about quantum computing you are talking about the need to transform your digital transformation and as well have access to subject matter expert and capabilities and use cases you put it in perspective uh, looking at i'll speak about defense sector they cannot do it by themselves they need to collaborate they need to go engage with the technological company to 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 go with their digital transformation and bring it to bar they need to work with the governance and basically the regulator bodies to set at the integration of data across system and probably I'll touch on the idea my colleagues refer to the system of systems and how do they can talk and integrate uh, to each other and basically the the third point is how we will execute our operation i'm a believer that the doctrine of warfare will change we need to evolve and the war doctrine of war and the doctrine of conducting defense and war will evolve with with the introduction of uh, artificial intelligence in multiple use cases i'm talking about from choosing the best candidate to to join the army or the defense to perform our operation from operational performance optimization and increasing our effectiveness and efficiency which is in logistics and and all to protecting your border and protecting your uh, basically bases and protecting your country which is the security aspect to defending your uh, uh, country against uh, adversaries and threat to basically offensive all of uh, all of that cannot be successful if you play solo in today world you need to engage with private institution and digital uh, companies you need to evolve with r&ds you need to work on use cases that really is unique in nature to your context uh, i will refer to one quote for sanzu uh, basically uh, who will win he said who will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight and that require lots of intelligence and lots of i believe uh, understanding of of your different components in, in in the country and putting it to use cases so in a nutshell when we come to our ecosystem i believe collaboration and co-creation is is the name of the game and that what will differentiate you standing alone protecting your uh, uh, the defense sector or protecting your own thinking of how things should be should be conducted i believe we need to evolve and you will only get difference if you go and and venture to the unknown that's basically risk and the important of risk to basically venture and as well discover new areas